Tiny Lakers, I'm here with Congressman Mario diaz Ballard, and we have a zip code update for you all. I know I've received many phone calls here in my office, and I can tell you we have a champion up in Washington, D.C., who's been working very diligently on this issue. And uh, Congressman, welcome to, uh, to Miami Lakes. Thank you for serving our community up in D.C. And uh, Good to be back, Mayor. Talk to us about the zip code. Well, uh, as you know, we passed out of the House last Congress, and it just kind of died in the Senate because they didn't get to it. And so this year, uh, I was hoping that we could put it as part of another, um, but there's no other bigger bill that's moving. So what we're doing is we're getting, there are a number of zip code changes that frankly are not controversial. We're gonna, we're putting those together in one bill with the sponsorship is gonna be obviously myself with the other members that have these other zip code changes. And we're gonna do it in this procedural way, which is, which is known as a suspension. It allows us to bring it to the floor of the house a lot quicker so we can get it out quick. Uh, hopefully, if all goes well, to give the time more Senate to deal, uh, more the Senate more time to deal with it on this occasion, because the problem has not been the House, as you know, we've already passed there. Uh, the problem has been in the Senate. We're hoping to give them more time this time. And and but I, but I can't thank you enough for not only bringing this up, but for your leadership. You have been, uh, you have dogged on this issue, and, uh, and that's one of the reasons that I think we're going to get it done. I appreciate that, Congressman, and, and you've really been a great champion up in Washington, and to get this done for us and to push the ball forward, and just to have it last year pass out of the House, I mean, that is that is amazing, and to hear your leadership uh, this year and your plan, I mean, I know our residents really appreciate it, so uh, again, thank you. And, On the contrary, uh, thank you. And we look forward to the benefits it's going to bring to our community from, from branding, from auto insurance Absolutely. relief, Absolutely. Uh, which is uh, very important in our, in our community. So again, thank you, Congressman. Thank you also for the leadership uh, that you once again displayed after the storm. Uh, during, uh, before, during, and after the storm, as you know, I was here with you uh, right after that. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're, we're just blessed to have somebody that, who's willing to go out there, roll up your sleeves, and go out there even uh, in, the, in the, that heart of the storm when it was hitting. Uh, you were out there, and again, I saw that uh, firsthand with the leadership that you showed. So again, thank you. The congressman's uh, part of the team and he ensured that FEMA dollars came uh, to Florida. He has great news and now there's uh, close to $600 million in resiliency dollars because of his leadership uh, in this state and, and those are dollars that we're, we're going to be able to tap into to help our